hey guys welcome back to another video so in this video we would be continuing further with our video series and from now we would be changing a user perspective from a developer point of view to an end user point of view so in this uh, video i would be giving you highlights about how things go and how things are being brought up and how things are get done so yeah uh, the new user requirement for our user story is so we are having a user his name is dave so he would be providing us with the requirements to our amazon site so he is saying that we have to set up a way by which users can navigate from one page to another so what is the business use case in this is uh, from navigating from one page to another and one section to another it allows users to have a wide variety of things over which they can see and buy products and services from us users are not limited to a certain product or service they can deep dive into and search a product of their own so this is the user requirement for this user story and for this video so we would be implementing this i hope you would like this video so yeah let's get started we try to give this sldis column and we try to give this hover so let us try to give this hover what is the hover effect in here so let us say background dash color should turn to uh, let us say green type of green only okay green yellow so yeah this one and the color should be same so no worries so let us see that does it happen do or not so this would apply to all the sldas columns in there so if we refresh see our text is aligned in center and our sldas uh, is working absolutely fine right but the problem would be like uh, if there would be a number of sldas you are using so over that uh, it would um, be making use of that okay so either what you could do is uh, you could have a class uh, column hover and you could use this class wherever you want so that in future any updates are required you could directly update this class you don't have to worry about like uh, uh, the thing is where to place your elements now and how in the complex code functionality you would be uh, fiddling with out with things okay uh, so that is there see uh, this is looking great uh, okay now uh, one thing more whenever i hover over this my cursor should be pointer so that is okay and now i want to uh, if i click over books now i should be redirected to my books page okay so uh, for that we have to first create a page so go to new page and as i told you for the books see it is two column layout right standard page and 2 is to 1 ratio next books so this is the url of your page and uh, we shall create this so your books page is created now uh, guys one thing to remember is that the see over the navigation bar component you can see this is written as shared and over this is also written shared so uh, what happens is guys uh, the header and footer are your shared regions for your entire community okay that means if you are having one header in here that uh, remains same for the entire community though that can be customized but yeah that is the uh, hassle of later use Uh, but for now uh, if you are using a thing in shared component adding something in shared so that is applicable to all your community pages 
same for the header and same for the template footer rest the content section that is the content header sidebar content and the content footer these are specific to your specific pages okay so our books component is created guys uh, now uh, first we have to publish this Okay, our site has been published uh, so now uh, what needs to be done is like uh, if I click over my books now I should be redirected over to my books section so how do I do that so for that uh, LWC gives us uh, various advantages so what we would be doing is navigation bar HTML and we could have some on clicks okay so on click is equal to navigate navigate to books and like in here uh, on click is equal to navigate to home navigate to home so we created these two methods uh, navigate to home and navigate to books uh, so in our js file uh, there is a class called lightning navigation or the navigation mixin so what we have to do is we have to import that class import navigation mixin okay mixin from from where this class would be loaded would be at the rate now at the rate this would be coming from lightning slash navigation class okay navigation class and now since uh, unlike many a times people do this mistake uh, is that uh, they are importing this in here and down down the line they are calling the methods but uh something or the other happens and they are getting an error why so most of the time is that we have to add this navigation mixing in here and we have to add this lightning element to this class uh, so that why we are adding this na navigation mixing in here is to uh, make the entire component uh, scroll uh, navigate navigable okay and i'll explain you a bit uh, more deep when we would be uh, working more on the navigation mixing or either in the next video as well so i'll explain you that how uh, it is needed in here in your entire component so okay navigate to books so it is having an event and so console.long um, book and now now is the main funda like this in the inside of this we would be calling our navigation mixin class so we would be copy pasting navigation mixin and pasting in here dot now there are some uh, you can say methods navigate navigate and now this would uh, uh, is a uh, method in, uh, in itself so what does it do is it uh, requires some attributes like the type attribute the type what is the type of our page what over which we want to go so that would be our standard web page okay type would be standard web page and what would be the attributes attributes would be like uh, inside our attributes we pass uh, metadata kind of things like what would be the URL of the page so our URL of the page was slash books okay so this was our URL and uh, this was a uh, books component okay uh, so let me deploy this to org but yeah we have to deploy the HTML sometimes it poses a problem in your JS 
so yeah maximum of the times that is preferable to deploy html so this over this component we should be rendered okay so if i click okay our books component is being loaded if you could see in here guys our books is being loaded so now if we are to go to home we should create a method on body to this home as well so navigate to home and inside also we would be just using this method okay so standard web page and url should be slash s only because uh, in your experience builder na uh, let me show you home what is your home see only slash url is only slash so yeah you could have slash s or only slash okay so let us try with both so nothing needs to be memorized guys all the things uh, is present in the documentation you just have to know the exact thing that what you are doing okay you should be clear at your mind that what needs to be done and things are getting sorted automatically okay so refreshing this so we are in the books page if we are go back see automatically slash s slash so now what could have been if we had uh slash s in here any it would suppose of any problem or what let us see going to first books and then coming back so no problem okay one and the same thing only guys slash only slash s only but yeah now uh, the difference in here is uh, currently the url is slash s only and now if we deploy this and refresh our page the url becomes slash s slash and where after we go to books it would be slash s slash books okay so we need to keep in mind the exact url and that you could get in from uh, the url okay so this was uh, the main gist in here what we could have is we could have uh, this like this as well but yeah i do like uh, this uh, better or more what we could have is the font uh, weight should be a large yeah now it is looking good so this was your uh, navigation class the importance of a navigation library so now what we would be doing is uh, in the next video uh, we would be working over our books component creating these things so we would be meeting in the next video if you are having any doubts uh, you could comment down below i would be happy to solve your doubts thanks for watching guys